This movie is 2 hours and 40 minutes long. That's like the length of the Titanic movie. I mean, I hate to quote a bad comedy movie, but you guys literally did a Titanic. It was so cold. And I mean cold. Opening narration. Main anime character sits by the window cliche. Fion keeps on saying how cold it is, and yet girls are just running around with nothing on their legs. It's like the seasons are out of whack or something. Why is he complaining so much that it's cold? It's the end of December. Haru, he's sort of been hyped up all morning. Oh. About the you know what? You know it. Koizumi and Kion play the pronoun game so that the audience has to wait five and a half minutes to get the answer. Look at this, see? Not even a sweat. Foreshadowed irony. High budget anime movie decides to use opening from the first season of the show instead of using a new song for the opening credits of the movie. I think reindeer antlers are bigger than that. There isn't anything Christmassy about that hat. Not that I care, but if you look at that from the outside, it's backwards. Kion does my Cinema Sins parody job for me. Unnecessary fan service. Kion feels that sucker. Symbolism with the snowflake number one. For a prologue, that was way too long, I know. Yeah, Kion, it was what, 18 minutes? Slow motion to reveal special character cliche. Okay, I know that we later learned that Koizumi and the rest of the class of 1A are moved to Kion Academy with Haruhi. But would that really make the classroom disappear? Would that really change the structure of the building? You're gonna have to face my wrath, got it? Oh, Sudia, why are you not in more of the TV show and movie? Yes, Kion, shake the young shy girl to get your answers. Nagato asked a crazy psycho who just attacked her to join her club. Never see or hear the main character's parents' cliche. Snowflake symbolism number two. Well, I was just curious. Do you live by yourself? Yeah. Parents are never in the house leaving the character alone cliche. Family Mart is in English and yet everything else is in Japanese. You got me a library card. Well, you know, Kion, having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. I know this part is supposed to be all sweet and innocent and heartwarming and stuff, but unfortunately I can't help but think about the amount of perverted people who are jacking off to Nagato's smile. If you don't... I will never forgive you. Epic foreshadowing. Kion has his bike despite not having it when walking home at Nagato. Was it just like... I better walk all the way back to school then walk all the way back home and then randomly stop to think about Haruhi. Kion runs away from school property without anyone stopping him. I mean, I don't know how it is in Japan, but in America, that would not fly. Do you remember something called the organization? Do you mean organization 13? Hey! Somebody call a teacher! Again, I don't know how it is in Japan, but as far as I know, policemen have more authority than a teacher. The smart character of the group provides exposition for people who don't know what the f is going on, cliche. Exposition number one. Makes me jealous. Train happens to pass by so that the audience has to question whether or not Kion heard what Koizumi said. Could you put your hair in a ponytail? Kion has a ponytail fetish. Would it be possible for me to wear it? No. Nope. Haruhi's a dick to Koizumi. Wow, they are so lucky that this is the one day that Surya isn't in a club with Asahina. I'll say he proves how useless he is in this movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kion makes Nakato cry. And yes, this sin is a biased one. This small segment doesn't really have any other purpose except to remind the audience of earlier epic foreshadowing. Discount Moika from Steins Gate. I can't explain it to you in a way you'd understand. Movie's excuse for not trying to explain it to the audience. Exposition number two. Then, who is it? I suppose we still have some time. Older Asahina decides not to tell Kion so that the audience can keep playing the guessing game until the answer is revealed. This scene does not contain a lap dance. Muted sentence. I understand the situation now. Restoration is possible. Deus ex Nagato. Exposition number three. Once again, the answer is muted so that the audience has to wait even longer for the answer. Nagato turns into a vampire. Wolverine powers. Kion goes into a mind monologue for seven minutes instead of just shooting Nagato. Also, I'll admit that this scene is like my favorite scene in like anything, but is Kion just standing there this entire time? If you tell me that it's just like a one second thing in his mind, then sure, whatever. But if Kion is standing there for a full seven minutes, then Nagato must be getting very bored by now. A high schooler, struggling against the unreasonable, impossible demands of Haruhi. I should have taken a heart. Even though I'm 100% invested in what's going on, I'm still very curious about what that girl's parents won't let her do. The person behind it all can't find out. It's a catch-22. Well, have you heard of Rule 34? Because with two Kions, a whole new ship is born. Snowflake symbolism number three. This scene suffers from a spotlight fetish that has plagued various directors, including J.J. Abrams and Steven Spielberg. Having a world like this just doesn't feel right. Why are you still talking to her? Shoot her! Epic trolling of death. Caesar-inducing scene. Yes, Azahina, because shaking him will stop him from bleeding. Movie doesn't explain how Kion went from being stabbed to death to being pushed down the stairs and sent into a coma. Also, is this a time paradox? I'm not even sure. This movie has me so confused right now. Does Koizumi plan on feeding Ryuk with all those apples or something? 
Asahina comes in around the same time that Kion wakes up so that we can have a character crying. Hospital lets a patient who just woke up from a coma walk around on the roof in the cold unsupervised. Yuki. Means snow, doesn't it? Snowflake symbolism number four. Also, Kion looked at the weather forecast so that he could perfectly time this moment with Nagato. You can go and tell that to your superiors. Then why wouldn't they just erase everyone's memories of Nagato? I mean, if Nagato can do it, I'm sure her bosses can. Then Kion wouldn't be able to tell Haruhi about John Smith so that they can go and get Nagato back. These schools make their students go to school on Christmas Eve. Whether it's now or later on down the road, we'll take care of it once and for all. Kion puts off what might be his most important mission to have some of Haruhi's hot pot. Who the hell are these girls? You got that world? You're okay for a bit there, right? Kion breaks the fourth wall. After the credit scene. Nagato, I'm having a hard time processing all this. 